This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Funky Logo Intro. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. And my duration is 10 seconds longer. You are free to use your own settings. And now we are moving to the first step. Import this texture layer into the project, you can download it from the link in the description. Now press P, to open its position. Then press and hold the Alt or Option key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. In this expression box, type wiggle parentheses, 1 comma 100. 1 is frequency, and 100 is the value. This expression will add some random moments to our background. And this is how it looks. But we don't need this smooth movement, we want it to look like stop motion. So let's fix it. Go to the composition, and click composition setting. Here change the frame rate value to a lower number, I am using the value of 4. So it means we will see only 4 frames per second. Hit OK, and this is how it looks now. Much better but we need to add more movement to our background. So I am changing the last value to a higher number, maybe something like 1000. But keeping this high value can create some issues. As you can see I can see the background edges here, it is not covering the frame completely. So I am changing the value to around 600, so that it won't show us the background edges. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description. Let's move to the next step. Minimize this layer to get some room. Now create a new solid layer, and call it Scratch. Make sure to place it on top of all layers, then go to the effects and presets, and search for fractal noise. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the contrast value to 8000, and the brightness value to negative 3000. It will create these tiny noise particles onto the layer. You can always play with the settings to create a different look. You can increase or decrease the value of the brightness to make the noise smaller or bigger. Let's add some movement to it. Again press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard, and click on this evolution stopwatch icon to add an expression on it. In this expression box, type time, star, 300. And this is how it will look now. I noticed we have some bigger particles here, so I am changing the brightness value to negative 3500. And this is looking much better. Let's merge it with the background. For doing that, I am going to change its blending mode. If this mode section is not available for you, then press F4 to switch between, if your F4 key is out of power, because of the low coal availability, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes. Now change its blend mode to screen. And it will blend with our paper texture. But we have a problem, I want these scratches to be black, not white. So let's see how can we fix it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the invert. Place it right below the fractal noise, and it has inverted the colors of our scratch layer. 
Now, all we have to do is change the blend mode to multiply. And it is looking much better. I think I have to change the scratch size a little. So open the transform option of fractal noise, and change the size value to 50. Also, let's change the brightness value to negative 3200. And this is looking much better. Let's add our text now. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. I am using the name of the brand, but you are free to use any text you want. Also, I am using the Montserrat font, you can download it from the link in the description. Let's change the size to around 260 pixels, and then make sure to place it right into the center. Select the move tool and now we will add more elements to it. Let's zoom into the timeline first, so that we can see each frame timing. Now I am adding colors to our background. Create a new solid layer, and call it color. Hit OK, and then place it right below the text layer. Again go to the effects and the preset, and this time search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the colors to this pink red shade. Now change its blend mode to multiply, and this is how our background will look now. Let's change the blend mode of our text layer as well. Let's change it to vivid light. It looks good, but, it has changed the color value of our text. If you hide this color layer, you can see the text layer is looking a little brighter. So let's change the vivid light to linear light. It is looking much better, and the texture is also visible on the text layer. Turn on the color layers, and now we are moving to the next step. Go to around 1 second position, and then select the text, as well as the color layer. Then press Ctrl, or Command plus Shift D on your computer, to split these layers into two sections. Now quickly place the layer on top of all layers, so that the project stays a little organized. Now I am randomly changing the color of this color layer, to get a dynamic look. Also, I am changing the font size to a different one. This time I am making it much smaller. Make sure to align it to the center. Again go to one second forward, select both text and color layer, and then split them. Place them on top and make a few adjustments such as the color, and size of the text. I am fast forwarding this step, because we are repeating the same steps around 4 to 5 times. Now we are going to add our logo. So make one more duplicate of the color layer, and place it on top of all layers. It's time to import the logo. So import your logo into the project, and place it on top of all layers. I want my logo to start appearing at the 6th second. So go to the 6th second position, and then press the square bracket open key to place the logo layer at the 6th second. Let's adjust the scale value of it. Press S to open scale, and change the scale value according to your need. I am keeping this size. Let's add a scale out animation. Go to the first frame, and let's keep this size for now. Click here to add a keyframe on the scale. Go to the 7 second timing, and change the scale value to around 20%. And it is looking like this. Let's go to 2 frames forward, and change the scale value a little higher. Now is the last step. Go to a few frames forward, and then create a new adjustment layer, Make sure to place its starting position right here. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the invert. Apply it onto the layers, and it will invert all the colors of the composition, so I am keeping only a small section of this adjustment layer. Split this layer, and then delete this part. 
Now check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. But we need to adjust the timing of it. Right now, it is looking a little slower. So I am changing and color, and text layer duration to only a few frames long. You can adjust this timing according to your music as well. You are free to create anything you want. I am just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Let's fast forward this step to save some time. Also, I need to adjust the scale value of it. So that it won't look that tiny. After making all the required changes, our logo intro is ready. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.